Hi, thanks for watching again. This is Daryl. We're now off in the Grand Roatan. We're undergoing construction, quite the large project. It's been a while since we've been down here. You can see they put new poolside seats here. Very nice. A little bit more secluded than everything else. Not quite the party spot, but still total relaxation. I don't know how much relaxation with the sound of that construction. That could probably be a little annoying if you're trying to rest a little bit, but it's to be understood. Now if we come over here, there's a different little seating area that is now in the Grand Roatan. As you can see, very, very secluded. Then you got a little jacuzzi over here. Very nice. Now up along here are the junior suites and reception is up here. Very, very secluded. Like this place is... There's a secondary pool over there. If you can see through, there's the main bar. The only other bar on the island with a swim up bar. Infinity Bay is a little bit more of a lively spot during the day around the bar. This again is more for relaxation. Not really any music. Generally very quiet. Unfortunately, you can probably hear in the background with all that construction, that could really play a factor if I was deciding for Grand Roatan right now. Not knocking the place or whatever, but you want to relax, you don't want to listen to air hammers and going off. High quality and finishes, Grand Roatan. Very is the name in luxury on the island. By no means as Infinity Bay is a slouch for luxury, but I think Grand Roatan takes it up another notch. One last little look, swim up bar, as you can see, very quiet, very, very quiet. A little less, uh, not as many vendors, which is a key if that is big for people who do not want to be bothered or anything. Seating seems to be adequate, but not a ton of beach seating, which could be a concern for some people. No real palapas or covering. There's yeah. like four or five umbrellas yeah, down there. Way, and then there's a few more down there, but not exactly what you would call a lot. Still high quality resort. They are at an advantage. The best diving and snorkeling is done over here where I was, as you've seen on my prior posted video. Beautiful snorkeling, lots of fish. So we're going to continue our West Bay walkabout. Very well maintained. Because if you see a stretch here, the seaweed, which is not bad, it's natural. But you look along here, very little. Very well maintained. Unfortunately, all the construction, unless they're giving people rebates on that, that is not something I would want to listen to, but it's only temporary. But depending on how long the construction goes, I would not recommend right now. Now we're coming along where the Taviana Beach Resort is. Kind of a strange name considering we're on West Bay. A lot of times the people from the cruise ships will sit along here. Chairs very, very uncomfortable. Just to be noted. Um, little or no covering also. So keep that in mind. If you're coming down, you're going to do a West Bay excursion. I believe it's $25 a day for Infinity Bay for access 
to the pool and everything else for $65. I believe it's it's unlimited for everything, but obviously there's time restraints. I believe most of the cruise ship people have to be back by two. So it's not a bad deal, depending if you're a power drinker and you can put them back. But sometimes it's worth it to spend if you're looking for a new vacay spot. It's definitely an investment for your future. I would recommend the Infinity Bay. We are staying there personally ourselves for the first time. There's been a few changes since rent for four times. Sorry, thank you. We've had a few pops. <laughs> since rent Rick Kalinsky has passed on. Um, for the most part, we read other reviews where they said the service lacked and it took forever to get our stuff. Well, we just had lunch and I swear lunch came out in 15 minutes and it was hot and the wings were t I swear they were better than last time. Little tip, best wings on this island, come to Infinity Bay because the teriyaki wings, highly, highly recommend them. Phenomenal. As you can see, the beach, as I've noted in my last videos, very, very it's eroded a lot. They've expanded. They have an upper deck seating. But the only problem, drawback, I would say, the seating is very, very close together. Nothing is perfect, and you have to live with that. But you have to take note on this. Very, very few covered areas. Highly sought after. Wife just happened to be up at 6. And was able to get uh, an umbrella. But 6 o'clock. I don't know about you, but I'm not getting up at 6. She just... She just happened to be up. They've expanded their restaurant area. As you can see, we're going to take a little walk inside. A um, little bit more livelier here. Uh, you got the music going. It's not a rowdy crowd by no means. Everyone's super friendly. We have gotten our drinks like like very quickly. I don't know what those other reviews are, depending what your definition of a long time is. Some people can be very, very hard to deal with and their version of short time and ours are different. We're, we're pretty easy going people and to us it was like no time. Get our drinks, throw them a couple bucks. You gotta remember these people took a beating with COVID and uh, you got to help support them. This is how they make their living. So throw them a couple bucks, you know, even throw a dollar every time you go get a drink. It's not the end of the world. You know, if you go up, say, 10 or 12 times to the bar in a day, it's $15. Who cares, you know? Just remember that. And remember when you see your guards, they take care of you. Go get them a Coke. Get them a drink. You know, uh, uh, we have the Sunwing snack area. Every day, I, I get the gentleman's name is Jason, who protects us. Not protects, but, you know, just enforces things around. Uh, French fries, wings, get them a Coca-Cola. Just remember that at any resort you're at. Get your guards, help them out, get them a drink, you know. They're, they're here to protect you, but there's, there's nothing to worry about. It's not like, what's wrong with the area that you need that. It's just, it's nice to have that if some people get out of line. But for the most part, most of the locals, you just say, no gracias, and they are good. As you can see, we're going to continue our walkabout. This is the Infinity Bay personal dock. If you want to do snorkeling and everything, highly recommend. Just outside of the Infinity Bay, if you go to where there's a rope tie, where buoys are, I would highly suggest that is the best area for snorkeling along here. Like I said prior, the Grand Rotan along the break wall is phenomenal, but you can't go wrong there. And I don't know if people have watched prior videos on YouTube checking out much more busier it seems like tourism has started to come back and that is a definite plus for this island they took a beating they depend on tourism and our tips so you got to remember that take care of the people this is our fourth time and we do our best we try and leave as much as we can I mean I'm not tipping someone for if they do nothing they're ignorant no they're not getting a dime but people here I swear they have gone the extra mile. They're even more nice than before. So what other things have lacked, like I said, prior videos, like the maintenance and whatever, you know what, that's small potatoes, you know? You just deal with it, stuff happens and you gotta remember that. 
but they took care of it. That's what, how did they treat us when they came to take care of it? The maid, they were super nice. I complimented the maid, said a thank you for taking care of us in our room, and she was just taken back by that. You know, and just remember it. So now we're coming up on some of the different restaurants. And now these are private rentals, West Bay Village. As you can see, very, very nice. I don't know too much about this place because it's private, so I do not want to go into private property for obvious reasons. I know they don't mind at the West Bay. We weren't hurt enough that we just came in, did our thing. As you can see, the chairs, a little less than to be desired. The hard plastic ones are there, but they're not very good. This is a personal residence here. Again, very elite, very nice. But as you can see, just everything going on. A little party boat going on. I mean, nice and lively, but it's not out of control, crazy, where you get a headache from pounding music. I mean, everyone's just having fun. They're doing their own thing, but no one's infringing on anybody's thing. And I mean, if you don't like it, move on. This is the Paradise Beach Motel. And if you want to get some shots for mementos, souvenirs, and pictures and stuff like that, highly recommend right here. Anybody who's anybody who's watched and tried to find information on Roatan has gotten a picture here. You have to, if you are, you have to get your picture done here. This is the Paradise Motel. This is their big uh, beach chair, if you want to call it. So if you're looking to get that memorable shot, you got to come here and check it out. The Pomodoro Pizzeria, if you've checked out any reviews, highly, highly recommend. This place is supposed to have some of the best pizza on the island, so keep that note. I've never personally come and eaten in here, but we've talked to, I've talked to some people who have stayed here and they've come to eat at this place and they said it's been absolutely off the hook. So you want the best wings? Hit Infinity Bay for the Palapa Bar. You want the best pizza on the island? Right here. As the sign says, the best pizza on the island, and it is true. Very rustic. What is pretty cool is the little swings that they have there. As you can see. As you can see, it's really gotten eroded, the beach. This beach, I swear, three, three, two and a half years ago, last time we were here, I swear it used to be like an extra eight feet wide. And it's a little bit more on a slant. You can tell it's really gotten eroded. May be a thing of concern for the local government. Maybe they might have to address. Um, we were still able to walk up and down this beach at night. We felt totally secure. Didn't see quite as many security guards, maybe cutbacks due to COVID, but nonetheless, we still felt extremely, extremely safe. Now, this is our one of our personal favorite spots. The Thirsty Turtle Restaurant is absolutely off the hook. This is part of the Bananarama, the Thirsty Turtle Bar and Grill. If you want the best burger on this island, and I can recommend it, and I have stuffed my face on quite a few burgers. <laughs> this place is is the bomb it is so good and when they go to make the pina colada they take the whole pineapple chop they blend it up and there's enough rum to knock over a horse trust me it's it's really good this place is off the hook good bananarama is a dive resort um we've gone through it before a little bit more rustic there their rooms are, are basic. They're more noted for their diving and everything else. I mean, very clean. Um, they do not have a pool. So keep that in mind if you're looking to stay at a place. I don't want to go through because, again, is sometimes they might get a little sticky on it. If you watch some of my other videos from the past on my channel, we have done a review and we have done a walkabout. But I can't say enough about the food. Now the chairs they have here are $15 a day, 
They look, they're very nice, very comfortable, but not many covers, as you can see. And they seem to come at a premium. So keep that in mind. If you get off the cruise ship and you just want to check out different spots, Now, as you see here, there's another, it looks like to be a private residence. Very nice, very, very nice. Obviously, we're not going to go for a walkabout in there. It's, it's private property, and I'm, I'm not going to infringe on someone's private home space. see it kind of lightens up a little bit down near the end if you look and you see there's right along where all the boats there's a red red top red building that is Foster's Resort very nice it's a little bit more rustic a little bit more not as swanky I mean bare bones basic not bad but just again if you're not doing the all-inclusives I believe they're about $99 a night might be worth checking out we like to be more down further. We're going to take a little look down through the West Bay. You can go for a long walk if you just want to cruise or if you're into the jogging. I'm, I'm me myself. I'm more into eating hamburgers myself. So, hey, on holidays, exercise is not in my vocabulary. busy so it just depends if you want a little bit more action stay closer to the break point stay closer to the Grand Roatan Infinity Bay Paradise that's where everything seems to be going on very nice residence here kind of a cool setup they have seating area there again not a lot of chairs not a lot of covering that seems to be the theme. It's like if you want to get a covering on this island fortune, you got to get up early. If not, you have to accept that. week. Thanks.